Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional. And today we're here to unbox and review the Mares Puck Pro Plus dive computer. And it's inside this box. So let's cut it open and see what's going on inside. Got my knife. Let's just cut that little seal over there. Easy does it. Alrighty, let's uh, pop that open. Check it out. This is the new Mares Puck Pro Plus. This is the white and gray one. So I'm just going to lift this out the box. We'll move that guy out the way. What's in the bottom there? We're going to pull it out to see. Bumper sticker. Love those. Uh, what else is in there? Quality control sticker. Says that they made it well. There's a bunch of warranty information, etc. You guys can go through all of that. There is your dive link info, so you can check that out too. It tells you how to get everything from the Mares website. And of course, there's an instruction manual. At this point, we need to point out, you should read the instruction manual beginning to end to make sure you know all the facets of the dive computer. Box, don't need that. Let's have a look at the uh, Mares Puck Pro. I'm just going to try and loosen it up there. As soon as we've loosened it up, we're going to zoom on in and check it uh, from the top camera. Righty, now that we've zoomed down in on top of the Mars Puck Pro, we can begin to scroll through the menus. So first off, when I turn it on, you can just see the general home screen of the computer itself. It's a single button operation, so just by pushing my thumb on this bottom button over here, it allows us to scroll through the menus. So let's start. First, we're going to go through, push it once, you've got your mode, where you can select the different modes for diving. There's your set for setting time and the parts of the dive. There's your logbook that you can go into to see your log dives. There's the plan, which we're going to get to in a second, which will show you how deep and how long you can be at different depths. And there's your PC link. Uh, there's the information on the computer itself. And then back to the home screen. So let's just scroll through the mode again. If I push this bottom button in and hold it for one and a half to two seconds, it'll bring me in. So I hold it in there. And now you can see I'm inside that menu option. So here it's set on air. I can scroll through to my Nitrox mix, or I can set it to bottom time, where you just set it as a bottom timer if you didn't want it to calculate anything. If I go back over there, if I push that back button, it'll take me out the menu. So back into air, if I hold the air button in, oh, it's brought me back out to mode. Oh, that's it, setting it to the air mode. So if I hold it in one more time, I'm back into air. Now back into Nitrox, if I hold that for one, two seconds, you'll see that the percentage of oxygen is, is flicking and flashing there. I can then scroll up to set that to whatever percentage I want. If I hold it in for another second and a bit, it changes to my partial pressure of oxygen. As a standard, it is set to a 1.4 as a contingency. All you Nitrox divers know you can go as high as a 1.6. We'll leave it on a 1.4 to start and uh, my maximum operating depth at the top over there is 36. As I put the percentage of nitrox up, the depth will go shallower. Hold in another two seconds, brings me to the back mode, and then I've got my gas twos. If I wanted to do accelerated deco, I'm gonna hold that to go back, and one more time to go back. That is for setting my second gas mix. So if I'm doing an advanced nitrox course and I wanted to do 100% nitrox on my safety stop we could set that as well or a higher percentage of nitrox as we come to the surface so i'm in my back button over there i'm just going to hold that in for back brings me out of mode so in that section i can set for an air i can set it for two nitrox mixes either a standard nitrox mix or an advanced nitrox if i'm doing accelerated deco or bottom timer if I go over to my next one, I've got set. If I hold that button in, I can set my dive or I can set my time. So we're going to go back in my back button. In dive, I'll hold it in for a second. I can set my backlight if I want the backlight to be on and how long I want it on for. That's your personal factor conservatism. So you can set the watch to be more sensitive or less sensitive depending where you're diving. You can set it for altitude if you're diving up at altitude or down at sea level. You can set whether you've got salt or whether you're diving in fresh water. And then you can set your units, whether you want it in imperial or metric. And then your fast ascent rate alarm, I recommend leaving this on, but you can turn it off. Always good to have a beep to remind you if you're accelerating too quickly. And then your alarms for safety stops, etc. can be on or off. And then your deep stop, you can turn on a deep stop alarm. That's when it'll beep at you to remind you to do a deep stop on one of those deep dives. 
and you can erase then. If this was a higher unit, so you were to give your unit to a friend to use after you've dived it, and it's their first dive of the day, you can erase that day's diving data. And now I've got my back button, which will bring me out of that. And then I can go into time. I can hold that button in. And I can set whether I want 24 hours. I can set my time of my watch. I can set the minutes over to the next one, back again. I can set the dates. Hold it in again. There we go. You can set the year. You can set the month. Set the day. Hold it and then it brings you back out again. So if I hold back out one more time, oh, it's popped me back in. So I just push back, find my back. There we go, hold it one, two, that brings me out. I've got my log, if I push this in, I'm just gonna go through to log again. We went past that menu. So if I hold in log for one, two, you can see that this is a brand new computer. So it shows that it's done uh, no dives as yet. So it says dive one is zero, but when you do a dive, all your logged information is going to appear over there. And that's what the summary will look like. It'll tell you how deep you've gone, how many dives you've done, time underwater, uh, and how many dives have been logged. So if we just scroll that to, to back, hold it in to go out. From my log, my next one is into plan mode. If I hold that button in, I can plan how deep I'm going to go, 12 meters for 99 minutes. Um, as well as the temperatures of the water that we've that we've got there so you can go in and set how deep you're going to go and you can see how long you can be there for which is great uh, so you see as I go deeper uh, just see that time reduces 24 meters 37 minutes so I can just push the button in to get out of plan mode PC link that's when you can use the blue link or other syncing cables to sync via Bluetooth or cable to your computer or phone or the app and then the information, if I hold that in, will give you the information on the computer itself, what version software it's running, um, its serial number, its manufacture dates, etc. So I'm just gonna hold that to go out. And we're back out to info. And then that brings us back to the front section of the dive computer, and you can go through the menus again. So overall, you can see this is a very easy computer to work through, very simple navigation by either holding the button in or single button push to go in and out of the, the menus. So uh, let's zoom on out a bit and we can have a look at the overall look of the computer itself. So now that we've zoomed out and we're back up at the main camera, we can have a look at the, the overall watch itself. You can see it's a nice, big, chunky design. If you've got it on your wrist, you're not gonna wear this as a day-to-day -day watch because it is quite large, but as far as a dive computer is concerned, it's really big and clear. Those digits are really easy to see when you're on a dive. Um, as far as the width of the computer is concerned, it is a relatively chunky dive computer, but it's not as big as some of the older big computers. It's relatively slim in comparison, so there's not a high chance of it catching on your BCD. One thing I really like is the fact that the screen has been inlaid with a really chunky section around the outside to protect the lens from scratching as well. The strap is nice and long, so if you're diving on a dry suit or with extra exposure protection, you can get it the whole way around. There's a bit of a spring section on the on the strap over there so if you are diving on say a dry suit or with extra neoprene on it as you go down it will compress a little bit and as you come up if it expands if you're in a dry suit you've got lots of air in it it'll give you some stretch as well to keep the unit nice and secure on your arm so overall having a look at it i think this is a really great dive computer it does all the functions that a diver needs nice big screen so it's easy to read underwater gives you all the information you need it gives you your depth your time the water temperature it's got the logs it's got the ability to sync via bluetooth with a blue link adapter as well as a syncing cable you can choose it's really really big and clear it's a really chunky easy computer to see when you're underwater relatively comfortable on the on the arm itself for the price, really good value for money. Does nitrox, does air, does everything you need. So this unit gets my thumbs up and I reckon it's a really good entry to mid-level dive computer to use. So there's my review of the Mars Puck Pro Plus. Comes in a variety of colors. We've been looking at the white one today, but if you have a look at the website, you can see all the different colors we've got. So if you guys are enjoying these product review videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest things that we're doing, or go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash scuba.co.za, and we'll keep you up to date with all of our specials and trips and all the cool things that we're doing on an ongoing basis. You get to see pictures of all the tours as well as the training that we're doing on an ongoing 
every week we're in the water because we dig it. Um, so that's it from me, and I look forward to seeing you guys really soon in the water.